assalamu alaikum students today we will read uh, the remaining topic of uh, gases in the previous lecture we have started the topic kinetic molecular theory of gases and uh, we have already studied in previous lecture the main points of this theory now we will move towards the calculation of this theorem and uh, here is the pv is equal to 1 by 3 mr c square pv is equal to 1 by 3 mn c bar square this is the equation of kinetic uh, molecular theory of gases mathematical representation and p is pressure v is volume m is mass of one molecule of gas and uh, capital n is the number of molecules of gas in the vessel c bar square is equal to mean square velocity the idea of mean square velocity is important here all the molecules of a gas under the given conditions don't have the same velocities rather different velocities are distributed among the molecules to understand it study maxwell maxwell's law of distribution of velocities if there are n one molecules with velocity c1 and two molecules with velocity c2 and so average velocity of molecules c bar square is equal to c1 square plus c2 square plus 3 c3 squares this is the velocities of all the molecules in gas mixture divided by n1 plus n2 plus n3 and so on by this equation we can calculate the average velocity of gas molecules c bar square is the average of square of all the possible velocities when we take the square root of this velocity then it is called root mean square velocity and this is the abbreviation of root mean square velocity c r m s is equal to this is under root 3 rt over m where c r m s root mean square velocity capital m is molar mass of molecule gas molecules t is equal to temperature and this equation is quantitative relationship this equation is a quantitative relationship between the absolute temperature and the velocities of the gas molecules according to this equation higher the temperature greater the velocities higher the temperature greater the velocity this is direct relationship between these two parameters and uh, now we will study will uh, we can also explain the all the gas laws boyle's law charles law avogadro's law with the help of this kinetic theory of gases and first of all we will derive boyle's law boyle's law uh, can be explained with the help of the kinetic molecular theory of gases according to one of the postulates of the kinetic theory of gases kinetic energy is directly proportional to the absolute temperature of gas kinetic energy this is equation for kinetic energy half m n c square directly proportional to t this equation is according to the postulate of kinetic theory of gases half m n c square is equal to kt where k is proportionality constant according to the kinetic equation pv is equal to 1 by 3 mn c square ha ji this equation is according to kinetic equation and multiplying and dividing by 2 on right hand side now we will divide and multiply by 2 on right hand side this right hand side will be multiplied by 2 2 by 3 multiply and divide by half mn c square then we putting equation 1 into 2 pv is equal to 2 by 3 kt 2 by 3 kt 1 into 2 put karenge to ye wali equation hamare paas aa jayegi pv is equal to k prime jo parameters cancel ho rahe hain unhe cancel kar dein aur baaki hamare paas remaining equation ye hai and 2 by 3 kt this is also constant and we will replace all the constant by single constant k prime which is by the charles law charles law can be derived consider the equation which has been derived pv is equal to 2 by 3 kt and v is equal to 2 by 3 kt over p and this p will go here and is equal to 2k over p 3 pt at constant pressure 2 by 3k over p 
2 by 3 k over p all are constants we will replace by a single constant k double prime this is k double prime and v is equal to k prime double prime t v over t is equal to k prime which is charles law now we will um, explain avogadro's law for uh, consider two gases one and two at the same pressure and having the same volume v their number of molecules are n1 and n2 masses of molecules are m1 and n2 mean square velocities are c1 bar square c2 bar square respectively their kinetic equation can be written as follows pv is equal to 1 by 3 m1 n1 c1 bar square for gas 1 and for 2 we will apply this equation on gas 2 pv is equal to 1 by 3 m2 n2 c bar square 2 for gases now equalize both equations we will get here uh, m1 n1 c1 bar square is equal to m2 n2 c bar 2 square when the temperature of both gases is the same their mean, mean kinetic energies uh, per molecule will also be same so half m1 v1 square is equal to half m2 v2 square m2 c2 bar square and half half cancel and, and this will simplify as m1 c1 bar square is equal to m2 c2 bar square divide equation 1 by 2 we get n1 is equal to n this is the mathematical representation of uh, Avogadro's law hence equal volumes of all the gases at the same temperature and pressure contain equal number of molecules which is uh, Avogadro's law now last uh, law is Graham's law of diffusion Graham's law of diffusion PV applying the kinetic equation PV is equal to 1 by 3 m and c square if we take one mole of a gas having avogadro's number of molecules n is equal to n a then equation can be written as follows if we take one mole of a gas having avogadro's number then n will equal to n a so we will put here n a this equation becomes p v is equal to 1 by 3 m n a c square and p v is equal to 1 by 3 capital M C bar square because capital M is equal to small m n a this will replace by the capital molecular mass and uh, here M is capital M is equal to m n a so we will uh, put to the value of m n a here and P V M is the molecular mass and uh, C bar square is equal to 3 P V over M 3 pv over m and c bar square this is the formula of c bar square average velocity and c bar square taking square root of uh, c bar square equation gets the form and c bar square under root is equal to 3 p uh, 3 p over m over v this we can also be written here m over v and is equal to 3 p over d and m over v mass per unit volume is equal to density we can put here d in the equation introduced c bar square directly proportional to we know that uh, visual velocity directly proportional to rate of diffusion rate of diffusion and uh, proportional to 3p over d under root and uh, 3p constant uh, and uh, the relationship between rate and uh, density inverse relation and uh, this is the Graham's law of diffusion if the density of the gas increases then its rate of diffusion decreases now kinetic interpretation of temperature this is also calculation of the relationship between temperature and kinetic energy and uh, according to kinetic molecular theory of gases the molecules of a gas move randomly they collide among themselves with the walls of the vessels and change their directions the collisions are elastic and the pressure of the gas is the result of these collisions with the walls of container let us study write the kinetic equation of gases as already mentioned kinetic equation will be used in every topic p v is equal to 1 by 3 m and c bar square and uh, here m is the mass of one molecule of gas n is the number of molecules in the vessel c bar square is the mean square root velocity average kinetic energy associated with one molecule of gas due to its translational motion given by the following equation and e k kinetic energy is equal to half m c c bar square and uh, 
remember that ek is the average translational kinetic energy of the gas molecules and equation can be written as follows this equation can also be written as follows pv is equal to we can uh, multiply and divide by 2 this equation that it gets the form and putting equation 1 to, into 3 we get pv is equal to 2 by 3 and ek n is equal to n a put we will put n is equal to n a pv is equal to 2 by 3 and a ek pv is equal to this is uh, all constant uh, replaced by universal gas constant r is rt pv is equal to rt this is general gas equation and comparing uh, uh, as the left hand sides of both equations are equal so we can compare uh, by comparing these equations we get 2 by 3 and a e k is equal to r t here e, we will we have to find the value of e k kinetic energy e k is equal to 3 r over 2 n into t this is the mathematical calculation of kinetic energy and interpretation of kinetic energy and temperature and it shows that the direct relationship of kinetic energy and temperature when temperature of the gas molecule increases this uh, kinetic energy also uh, increases okay students this is the end of the today's topic okay thank you Allah Hafiz.